Today we will be going over accruing interest revenue. Accruing interest revenue. If we issue a note that goes into the next year, we can't wait and recognize all of the revenue when it is paid. Instead, we recognize it as we earn it. This is a quick, quick reminder of the revenue recognition principle that states we have to recognize revenue when it is earned and not when it is paid. We recognize the amount earned that year as a receivable and revenue. Accruing revenue. On December 1st, Bella Beauty issues a two month, 10% $10,000 note to Baylor University. The note is due January 31st. As we see, this goes and cuts off at year end and goes into the following year. What is the journal entry to record the notes receivable on December 1st? On December 1st, we would debit notes receivable of 10,000 and credit cash of 10,000. Next, it asks, what is the journal entry to record the interest accrued on December 31st? We would debit interest receivable of $83 and credit interest revenue of $83. While it is a 10% note, we know that that's an annual interest rate. So what I did was I took one divided by 12 for one month out of the 12 months of the year, and I multiplied that by 10% and then finally by the 10,000. While we have not received this interest yet, we will receive the cash next month. We are just going to recognize the revenue we have earned now. Finally, what is the journal entry on the maturity date? We would debit cash of $10,166, which would be the original amount loaned plus the two months worth of interest. We would credit interest revenue for $83 again to record the second month of interest that we earned. We would credit interest receivable of 83 because we no longer expect to receive that. We have already received it. And then we credit notes receivable of 10,000. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true no matter what accounting class you are taking. However, the concepts presented in this video are referencing material currently covered in Baylor University's coursework. Remember, if you are a currently enrolled Baylor student, we offer free tutoring services. Our tutoring center is located on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building. You will find all the details you need to know about these services on our website, www.baylor.edu slash tutoring. You may schedule a free 30 minute one-on-one -on -one tutoring session online, or just drop in during any of our open business hours. For more information about our current services, please visit our website. Thank you.